Hiring is a central part of your work when you're growing. In this video you will learn the five essential steps to hiring. Please watch it until the end so that you're going to lose much less time and you're going to make less mistakes. My name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I would like to help you to become a great leader. If you want to have more of this content and learn what is important in leadership and management for entrepreneurs, click on the button below this video so that you are always on top of the news. Today's lesson is about hiring, and there are essentially five important steps that you have to follow. The first one is to make a job description. So in this job description, you're going to talk about the roles and responsibilities, the tasks, the educational background, um, the salary and the fringe benefits and all the rest of it. Define this very clearly also what you would like to have in terms of value, experience, etc. There are loads of templates about this on the internet. Uh, use them and be very, very clear what uh, job description you want to have and with which criteria you want your candidates to match. Step number two is to post a job advert or to speak about the opportunity that you have. So you can, for example, post them in online groups, on online job portals. You can do advertisements in industry journals. You can also go to job fairs, go to universities who have job fairs. And um, yeah, these are the essential steps for hiring. Do as much as you can online though. Step number three is the pre-selection of the candidates and the interviewing. So what you would like to do, you do a pre-selection according to the criteria that you have developed. Don't, in, don't interview, don't invite more than five candidates for a job. Do the interview, uh, very important, it is very important to document the interviews, to introduce a ranking and do this very diligently and then afterwards be maybe out of a list of five you're gonna produce a short list of two or three. Step number four is take references. Always take references. Applicants can tell you a lot of things what their previous employers, previous clients, previous colleagues say is very important. Ask a previous boss, a previous colleague and if we're talking about a team lead, a previous team member and based on that make uh, enhance your decision, enhance your picture of the candidate, always ask at least five people because five people are never going to say all the same. Step number four, uh, step number five is a final selection. So the final selection should be based on a formal assessment. You can do something like an assessment center, an intelligence test, a capability test, personality assessments, mm, Look a little bit what is uh, what you think is important for you, if it is more the personality or if it is more in an analytical role, certain the skills and, and um, knowledge that the candidate must have. Go through this formal assessment, look who's the best and then you have the various steps and you come up with a decision. This video was about hiring, which is very important and about the five essential steps. If you want to become a great leader, subscribe to this channel. The live program teaches you the traits and the skills and the knowledge of the greatest leaders worldwide within weeks. So don't miss a single session by subscribing to this channel. And I will see you soon. Best, Amen. And don't forget, lead yourself.